Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Over the last few months, I've had dozens upon dozens of comments and questions asking me how in the hell does the Noctua cooler, the NHD15, fit in your case? Specific questions like the cooler height with the heat sink is 160 millimeters and if you add the fans to it, it's 165 millimeters. But in my case, the NZXT H510 it says it supports a cooler height of 165 millimeters. So does that tell us that when I close the case, it's gonna kiss the top of those fans and apply pressure to the CPU and to the motherboard? That's where, when I was building my first computer build and getting ready to buy this fan that I just didn't know. And it's really not very clear, especially if you're new to PC building like I was. So what did I do? I just said, and I took a leap of faith. I, I told myself, if this CPU cooler is too tall, I'm just gonna buy a bigger case. So that was my reasoning for buying this. But luckily for me, that when I installed it, I was able to close the case with one caveat. And let me show you. So the one small problem that I had installing this cooler is that the 140 millimeter fan that you put on the right side of the heat sink it was just too tall because my RAM was too tall. And my RAM, the Crucial Ballistic LT, it's just a standard RAM height. I think it's like 32 or 33 millimeters. Let me see if I can get a shot of it. It's hiding back there. But anyway, with that 140 millimeter fan on the right hand side, I could almost close the, the, the side panel, but it just, it just wasn't right. So. I ended up purchasing a 120 millimeter fan and slapping it on there. And you can still use the same fan brackets to attach the 120 millimeter fan. And so what I did with that 140 millimeter fan is I put it on the far left side as a pull fan. But let's go ahead and look. I'll try and get a good shot of the clearance. Now, as I said earlier in the video, if you look at the the specs, it says the heat sink is 160 millimeters tall. And if you add the fans to it, it's 165 millimeters tall. But if you see here, at most, the fans are as tall as the heat sinks, those heat pipes that are sticking out. So in my case, or in my scenario, the maximum height of this is approximately 160 and then at most 161 162 millimeters because that middle fan just may be a tick higher than the heat sink but not much to me it almost looks flush I, I can't get the best angle but I hope you get my point right here so when the specs say 165 millimeters with the fan on it it may not be that accurate it may be a little bit shorter but to put that in perspective, I am running a Ryzen 2700X on an X470 motherboard. If you're using Intel or any other type of motherboard, it may make a difference. I just don't have that information on me. And let me show you putting on the, the side panel. And there it is with the side panel on. And again, it, it's hard to tell on camera, but I, I bet you I have at least a good, you know, four to five millimeters before the heat sink or any of the fans touch, touch the, the glass side panel. In conclusion, it can be very daunting. It can be very stressful on deciding if I should purchase the this big old Noctua cooler. Your best bet is to probably go to pcpartpicker.com and look at other people's builds with your exact same case and your exact same setup. I'm sure nine times out of 10, you will find a, a build with all your exact same parts that help you out. I hope this information kind of helped you out with some realistic, real life information, especially if you have the case that I have, the MZ XT H510. But once you get this and install it, you'll be glad that you did because it cools your CPU tremendously. Thanks everybody for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video.